Hey everybody, I dog sit a schnauzer who doesn't like being alone and insists on being a part of stuff. Like he's gotta be within three feet of a human at all times. You may have noticed if you've been watching for a while and uh, been paying attention. So today he's gonna be part of stuff. For this build, I use these standard prop making tools, these materials, these sanding implements, and these safety gear or you'll die. I'm a prop maker, that's my job. And I was making a night helmet for a client and I noticed that the visor was conveniently schnauzer shaped. So I took that same template, traced it onto EVA foam floor mats, made some minor alterations, cut it out, flipped it on its side, traced its mirror image onto more foam, cut that out, made sure to cut a slight, roughly 45 degree angle in the foam on the center edge and sanded those edges on the belt sander just to get rid of any sort of foam ripping. I heat form the pieces with my heat gun. Some people will use a rounded anvil for this. I know that that terminology brings forth an image of like a blacksmith and a steel anvil, but I'm literally just talking about a rounded nub that you can shape soft foam on. However, these parts don't have as dramatic a parabola as to warrant using an anvil, so you can just manipulate it with your fingers. And when you're done heat forming, you can apply glue. I'm using contact cement because he's gonna wear this out in the cold weather like that's part of why i'm doing this he will not go outside if it's cold and or rainy unless he's got some sort of jack and hot glue becomes i, I don't want to use the word brittle i don't know if it's the right word but just less effective and sometimes we'll just break apart in the cold. So I used contact cement, and when it was ready, I attached the pieces to achieve this. Oh, hey, double gauntlet tutorial. If anyone was also looking to figure out how to make a gauntlet. Okay, so while messing around here, I had the thought that uh, my arm's a bit skinnier than a schnauzer, so I felt that this <laughs> warrants a test fitting. So if you don't mind it, but I can make that a little bit more comfortable. So he's definitely not complaining, but I'm gonna add straps to tighten it anyway. So I want it to have a loose fit to begin with. So I widened it by reheating it. Uh, on the note of creature comfort, I cut a notch and added a bit of a, a, a neck protect, a bever for his neck uh, for when he's looking up so that it doesn't get in the way of him moving his head up. Because as we all know, dogs can look up and the Winchester's real. This armor isn't gonna have a ton of artistic inlays, so I'm gonna add some accessories just to distract from it being one solid piece. I mean, it's several pieces, but you know. Those accessories include a sword, which I first cut out of foam with an extremely sharp knife, then sanded with the belt sander, just to get rid of any other imperfections. I added a cross guard and a handle, plus pommel, and then added a little flirt to leave for decoration. Okay, so I know that the nitpickers at YouTube are gonna be all like, that doesn't make sense, because it's a French symbol on a schnauzer. But you have to understand that in this line of work, you do what the client asks, or you don't get paid. And in this case, the client is a Saints fan. In addition to the sword, I made a little Viking shield. I'm not gonna waste time on that because I, I covered it in a whole nother video called Viking Shield. Oh, so I cut and heat formed a little breastplate. This is more to keep the straps aligned than to actually provide any protection. And, and honestly, I didn't do any measuring for this. I just eyeballed it and made sure the dog was comfortable uh, with the placement. I smeared some quick seal in that next seam just because I don't want any plate separation to be visible there. I also add a little strap and some rivets. Then I plastic dipped all the accoutrements. You should give this several days to dry. I mean, it'll dry to the touch in 30 minutes, but just, you know, an animal's gotta wear it, so give it a few days just air out. Then I painted it. When the paint had dried, I made straps out of straps uh, from Goodwill handbags. And then I cut a little hole in the armor for his leash. Getting fat. Part of the inspiration for this is um, this dog, he keeps taking on bigger dogs than himself. And uh, it, he doesn't think before he, you know, goes on the offensive. And uh, he just, uh, he needs a bit of protection before he does that again. He, he needs an edge. Hey everybody, if you like what I do, then you can support me on Patreon, like all these people. They're the only reason that I'm able to do this at all. Seriously, these videos exist because of them, because uh, YouTube ad revenue is a joke, okay? You can't live on that. You can't even pay your utilities on it. So thanks guys from the bottom of the black hole where my heart should be. And now I give you the Battle Dog Galactica. Oh wait, wait, no, wrong show. Behold, buddy of House Schnaugarian. God, that was clumsy. Stephen Colbert took all the good Game of Thrones dog puns. 
Hey, thanks for watching everybody. If you enjoyed that video, you can subscribe, hit the like button. If you wanna see more of these videos, then you can support me on Patreon. Because I, honestly, at this point, like I do this in my downtime. When I get a gig, then I have no time for anything. Uh, and also in the meantime, there's like, how many videos have I made at this point? I think like 360 videos and 250 of them are tutorials. So be sure to check all those out. Thanks for watching. Who's a good little schnauzer? He's fierce. Cry havoc. And let's let the dogs of war. You got, you got a little fuzzy. <laughs>